Stasi Schroeder and Kristen Doty are out at Vanderpump Rules after their past racist posts and actions resurfaced, including calling the cops on their black former co-star, Faith Stowers. A Bravo spokesperson confirmed to Variety that the two cast members, who have been a part of the show since its first season, would not be returning. Their firing comes days after Faith first spoke out about her interactions with Kristen and Stassi during an Instagram Live with Floribama Shore star Candace Rice. Faith was the only Black cast member on Pump Rules during season four. And at the beginning of season five, Kristen, Stassi, and the rest of the cast found out that she had had an affair with Jax Taylor, who was dating his now wife, Brittany Cartwright, at the time. After their friend did something that we both were involved in, that he's done like a thousand times, for some reason, they wanted to attack me instead of him. It was like they wanted to attack, 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 attack. Like, you know, I was wrong and I was this and I was that, calling me names, saying my hair was nappy, which is weird coming out of their mouths. And like, um, and I believe it, the, the, it hit the ceiling for me and made me really want to run for the hills when, um, Kristen and Stassi decided they were going to call the cops on me. Faith said that Kristen and Stassi saw a news article about police looking for a black woman as a suspect in an alleged theft. They called the cops and said it was me. <laughs> yes. And, to, and this is like true story. This is, I heard this from actually Stassi doing the interview. She's telling them what they did to me. So <laughs> they called the cops on me. The police say, oh, that sounds crazy. We're not coming. That's not fake. We looked it up. That's not her. It was somebody else. But it was just funny because they thought it was me because it was a black woman with a weave. Stassi did talk about calling the cops on Faith in an episode of the Bitch Bible podcast back in 2018, which has since been deleted. That same year, Kristen tweeted out a link to the article about the suspect and wrote, Hey, Tweeties, doesn't this ex-pump rules thief look familiar? Someone put her on MTV and gave her a platform for press. I didn't want to go there, but I'm going there. But the tweet was recently deleted. Faith brought up the story in light of the Black Lives Matter movement, which some of her Pump Rules co-stars have begun to participate in. Both Stassi and Kristen shared posts for Blackout Tuesday. I've been getting a lot of messages lately because a lot of them now are screaming Black Lives Matter. And it's like, that's <laughs> exactly what I know some of them, and I know they are definitely don't care about black people like that. There's a few of them that do, but there's a lot of them that really don't give a damn. I've seen a lot. <laughs> In the wake of Faith's comments, multiple brands ended their partnerships with Stassi, and fans took a closer look into her personal and professional history, which revealed more insensitivity. Internet Sleuths dug up a 2017 episode of Stassi's podcast where she discussed the Oscar So White controversy saying, everyone is giving their impassioned speeches about race and all of that stuff. And I'm like, why is it always just about African-Americans? Later adding, and then when they get upset, everybody has to go above and beyond to then make them happy. And an Instagram photo of Stassi apparently labeling her outfit as Nazi chic also spread online. Real Housewives of Atlanta star Portia Williams reacted to it writing WTH on Twitter. And Faith also replied, tweeting, girl, tell me about it. Stassi and Kristen have yet to speak out on their firings. Earlier this week, they apologized for their past comments to Faith. Stassi wrote in part, racially insensitive comments from my past have resurfaced. It is important that I continue to take accountability for what I have said and done while pushing myself to do better. I have grown significantly from the person I was then, and I am still filled with remorse and regret for the hurt I caused. I also want to address my former castmate, Faith Stowers. My emotions over something that happened between our friends outweighed my logic, and there is no excuse for that. Kristen, meanwhile, wrote in part, I have been taking some time to really process what I've been seeing, feeling, and learning. And I need to address something specifically that happened a few years ago with my former castmate, Faith Stowers. Although my actions were not racially driven, I am now completely aware of how my privilege blinded me from the reality of law enforcement's treatment of the Black community and how dangerous my actions could have been to her. It was never my intention to add to the injustice and imbalance.